Hello everybody, Crips here, and yet again, thanks for joining me today. Uh, a YouTuber by the name of Aussie Bob, Aussie Bob, contacted me and wanted to know how you can add different colors or textures to a cube. Uh, so let's get the cube out. So this is what we're talking about here. And let's say we wanted to spin like this, have a logo on this one. Maybe a video clip on that one, uh, your logo on that one again, and a different video clip on this one. Uh, and that's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, the only problem is that when we try to apply it to this cube, the cube is actually an object. And it's just one object. So if I was to say just change the color, it would uh, apply to the entire object. Because another way of looking at the object is like so. Realistically, that is what your object is. But the cube is the same thing, just fatter. <laughs> All right, so what we need to do is we need to create a cube using six panels. Because once we create six panels, we can then have six objects. And then we can apply any texture to the object that we wish. So what we're looking at is something similar to this here. All right, and you can see I've got different colors. And I can do whatever I want to it. I can add photos to it, uh, video to it, no matter what it is I can do to it. Because if you look over into your object manager, you'll see that I've created six objects. And then I've just shaped it as a cube. And then once I've done that, I can just treat each object individually and then texture it the way I want. Okay. But how do we do this? Well, it's actually quite simple. I open up a new layer. Insert graphics, choose rectangle, and it doesn't matter what you do with it. Right now, just draw something. And go here to your hand or move tool. First thing you do is center it, and then change it to, I don't know, 40 by 40, I guess. It doesn't really matter. You can, it'll change it later. Press OK. Right. So right now, it's very, very tiny, so let's zoom in on that. more I guess. Alright, so there it is. Now uh, it's now I've got one object but it's still a cube. So the first thing we need to do is change the bevel. So go back in the attribute panel, bevel, and I'm going to change it to eight. And there's no reason why I chose eight. It's just eight. You can make it nine. You can even make it six if you want. It's up to you. So first thing I'm going to do I'm going to change this to one. So this is panel one. And then I'm going to do control down my control, control C, control V. Now I've created a second panel. Now this is where it gets exciting. You can, if you wish, use the X, Y, and Z and, and go perfectly and enter the numbers yourself. But because you're working in 3D and most of you guys are still a bit confused working in 3D, uh, I'll show you a really, really simple way to do this. All right, first thing we need to do, you can't see the second panel. All right, there it is. First thing we need to do is we need to move the second panel. So we're going to our Move tool. And all I'm going to do is just, watch this. I'm just going to calculate it doing this way. Okay, so what do I need? Mm, 16, don't I? Yeah. Okay, so there it is. I'm going to rename this as panel 2 and enter. All I need to do now is create another panel. So control C, control V, and it's the same thing. I'm going to use my move tool. I'm going to move it out. Oh, not that way. Not that way, but that way. So now you're probably thinking, oh my god, you stuffed it up. No. The reason why I did that is to show you that it's better to work with the eye than it is trying to do it all mathematically. Because I went up first, it didn't go to the direction I wanted, so it was very simple for me to go back. If I try to put in the numbers and work it out, trust me, you're going to get confused. Just do it this way. Use your eyes and just move. When you move anything, go into your move and just work with your X and Y and just add one or two, and you'll see it move to the, the two the direction you want. 
Now I just need to rotate this, and again, right, so we need this is on zero. Right, we need this one on zero. Alright, so I'm just going to group these and move it so I've got a better view of what I'm doing. Okay. I might need to um, tidy these up a bit. Just bear with me, folks. I, I moved it and then I didn't correct it, so I'll just do this right now. There you go, folks. Sorry about that. But that was just my fault because I was you know, moving it around. All right, so what I need to do now is move this up or down. So I'm going to go to my move tool. And if I just started clicking, I can see which direction it's going to go. So clearly, that's not the one that moves it up and down. This one moves it back, so it must be Z. So I just start clicking it. So it'd be minus eight. So now you can already see it starts to form. Whoa, look at what I did. It already starts to form the cube. Okay. This will be number three. Enter. Let's go back to one. Control C, Control V. If I go to my move tool, I just need to move it. There you go. Alright. Group again because all I'm doing is I want to work in a better view, so that will do nicely. I will now need to rotate this panel. So, first of all, I'm going to roughly get it. And once I've got it to where I think, yeah, that looks good, then I can just go up here, zero, zero. And obviously, this is going to be minus 180. And then I'm going to go back to my move tool. And then it's just again, it's just a matter of going in alignment. So there you go. And this one needs to go to zero. Okay, so we're getting there pretty close. So you're getting the idea of what it is that you're going to do. So it's just another matter of adding two more panels and the end result will be your cube this cube here okay there's no different to this one that this one is missing the two panels but it's a tutorial I don't want to bore you because you kind of get the uh, by now you'll gather of what I'm doing so you go back to cube let's go back to the one that I've already fixed fixed finished and now all I need to do is create whatever I wish on each panel so um, I'm just unlocking these because I actually sent this to Ozzy Bob that he could work with. But anyway, uh, let's just pick, I don't know, A side. It doesn't really matter. I might pick the pink side. So I'm going to add a texture here. And I might add, I don't know. Uh, let's see what we got. I'm going to add a picture of my daughter. There you go. I'm going to have to fit that perfectly. Group. There you go. There's my daughter playing with a gigantic toy. And obviously the color is too strong, so I need to go back into this object and change the color. Color. And just bring down the hue saturation. And there you go. <laughs> so voila. Now I have a picture of my daughter there. And that's it. So if I wanted to, I can make this one spin. Just like that, as if we're drunk. I can even, uh, if I wanted to. Let's have a look at this. Uh, panel here and just for the sake of uh, the tutorial I go texture view thumbnails and let's pick uh, I don't know, this whatever that texture is 
So there you go. This is how we can add different colors and textures onto your cube by creating one first. So hopefully, uh, Aussie Bob, I uh, hope this is what you meant, because if not, then uh, I probably did a very interesting tutorial for no reason. <laughs> anyway, uh, as always, thanks for watching.